In this video, we're going to go through a sequence of adding a user to Active Directory. Uh, what you're looking at on the screen here is uh, the ServiceNow service catalog. Of course, this is completely configurable to show whatever categories you want and, and whatever items you want to show in each, each category. So what we'll do first here is, uh, as an end user, maybe a manager or something like that, we want to request someone be added to Active Directory. We'll click on this on offboarding services category. I can scroll down in here and you can see we've got this uh, add employee to corporate directory. Go ahead and click on that. And then that will open up the form that we have uh, that allows us to key in the information uh, that ultimately will be passed to Active Directory. So go ahead and do that now. See here when I start to type in SAN, it brings up everything that matches that. Go ahead and just put in a dummy phone number for now. Start typing a name here. You see that'll pull up as well. And then down at the bottom, the uh, departments that are coming up are based on the fact that I've select, selected IT up here. So if I change that, this list will change. For now, I'll go ahead and select those four departments and add them over to the list. So at this point, we're ready to order. Uh, we're ready to place the order, which will, underneath the covers via orchestration, integrate with Active Directory, create a new user account in Active Directory with all of this information that we're collecting on this form being passed to the record in Active Directory. Uh, this form is easy to change, so if you want to add additional attributes so that someone can type those in via this form as well, you can do that, and those ultimately can get passed into the uh, attributes in Active Directory. So go ahead and click on Order Now. Here's our confirmation screen. You see we have three stages defined. You could uh, define multiple stages here beyond the three that you see, but uh, for now that's just our example. So approved, delivery, and then completed. So what we'll do now is switch over to the request that have come in. So you can see we have that request right there. And so this is our request record. And this particular request has one item in it, and that one item is our add employee to Active Directory. I'm going to click on that item. You can see the information that came in through our self-service form through the catalog. We'll show the workflow. And in the workflow, you can see that multiple steps have been completed already. So if you look at the blue steps there, that's the path that's been taken. And those are the, the activities that have been executed up to this point. And now we're at the activity that is adding the user um, to uh, the Active Directory groups that we selected from our, from our form. If I refresh this workflow, I suspect that it'll be done. It is. So you can see now that it's gone out of the success path, gone down to the notification, and then ultimately to the end. So the workflow is executed. Um, at this point, what we'll do is switch over to uh, remote desktop that shows Active Directory, and you can see we'll look at that user record that was created in Active Directory. Okay, so this is a remote desktop session I have into one of our testing environments for Active Directory. I have a ServiceNow category here. And you can see in this list, we do not have uh, a Sean Taylor, I think is what I typed in there. So you see that's not there at this point. If I refresh this list, uh, Sean Taylor's, okay, so there it is. You can see that we've got Sean Taylor's. And if I double click on that, you can see the uh, attributes for this particular account have been set uh, by orchestration, by ServiceNow orchestration. The office has been put in there, uh, the telephone number, email address. And if we go over to organization, you can see there's the manager that we selected, Fred Luddy. And then in addition to that, we can look at the group. And so I've clicked on the member of tab and you can see there are the groups that we selected as well. So what we're demonstrating here is the ability to have ServiceNow orchestrate uh, the creation of uh, an Active Directory account. And that's all happening automatically. So there's, there's no AD uh, administrator that has to go in and manually rekey any of that or do any of that work. Uh, you could add approvals in that workflow if you wanted to so that it had to be approved before it actually did the work in Active Directory. Uh, but, uh, but again, really anything you want to do uh, as far as adding uh, information to Active Directory via ServiceNow, via the Service Catalog, it's pretty straightforward and easy to do.